just flipped. They, I, I get talked to every day by people that have gone to school here and said this is the best thing they've ever seen. Uh, some new kids who the parents have reached out and said they can't wait to get back to school. Um, just, uh, I get a daily thank you by to all my neighbors and friends in this community. Communication through art is very important to me, but also to show that um, graffiti and street art does not have a bad name. It's not like it used to be. This is something that's, you know, a positive thing for the neighborhood. And um, just showing that uh, seeing an image, if you're having a bad day, will brighten your day. Or it's, a, you know, it's say it's January and it's freezing and there's snow, but you know, you get out of the subway and you see this fabulous mural, it's like the one behind me. Um, and just to change moods and change attitudes. So I kind of stuck more to the, to the art and history part of it and kept the history more or less local so that folks can gravitate to it and get an understanding. Even if you're not from New York or from Brooklyn, but if, you're, if you live here, you, you have experienced gra graffiti at some point, uh, whether you like it or not, it's everywhere. Um, so when the, when the grown-ups walk past it and see it, they, they stop and freeze because they recognize the paintings, they recognize the, the indicators and uh, signifiers in the piece, and they, they stop and experience it. And, and, and the kids do the same thing. The kids, the more questions they ask, the better. Um, I chose uh, Picasso Studio because it symbolizes high art. Uh, I basically wanted to put uh, street art and graffiti in the same high place. Um, and give it its, 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 I think, its proper place, its just due place.